Hey everybody, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Meg, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. This year, you have a few easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard in your state. Depending on your state, you can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to IWillVote.com to request your ballot. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. In some states, you can track your ballot or drop it off in person. Head here to learn more. Many states have in-person early voting sites, and voting early lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? You can find your early voting site at IWillVote.com. And of course, you can always vote on Election Day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to IWillVote.com to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to IWillVote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out, out there, there and, vote. and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Arizona. Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Esteban, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Esteban, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Arizona, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to IWillVote.com slash AZ to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. In Arizona, you can mail your ballot or drop it off at any voting location or an official drop box in your county. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites will be open starting October 7th and you can find yours at IWillVote.com AZ. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd, Go to IWillVote.com slash AZ to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time the polls close, you can still vote. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to IWillVote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey Colorado, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Esteban, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Esteban, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Colorado. This year, you have a few easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote by Dropbox, or vote in person early or on Election Day, November 3rd. If you're an active registered voter in Colorado, you will automatically receive a ballot by mail. When your ballot arrives, Follow the instructions carefully. In Colorado, you can mail your ballot, but make sure you put it in the mail by October 26, or you need to drop it off. 
head here to track your ballot. You can also drop off your ballot at any convenient Dropbox or drop-off site in the state. Go to iwillvote.com co to find the closest drop-off location for you. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites will be open starting October 19, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com co. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com co to find your closest voting center in your county. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time the polls close, you can still vote. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we gotta work on that. Hey Florida, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our healthcare. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Esteban, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Esteban, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Florida, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com fl to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. In Florida, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person or on official Dropbox location. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites will be open starting as soon as October 19th, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com fl. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com slash fl to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time the polls close, you can still vote. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we gotta work on that. Hey Georgia, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our healthcare. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Brandon, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Brandon, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Georgia, this year you have three easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote absentee, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com GA to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Pro tip, don't forget to sign the outer envelope. In Georgia, you can mail your ballot, drop it off in person at your county election office, or at an official Dropbox location in your county. Head here to track your ballot. Georgians can also vote early this year. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? Early voting sites are open starting October 12th and you can find yours at iwillvote.com GA. And of course, you can always vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com GA to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com 
and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. And now, now get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Iowa, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Meg, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Iowa, this year you have three easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote absentee, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iowavote.com IA to request your absentee ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Pro tip, if you receive a secrecy envelope or sleeve, place your completed ballot inside it, and then place the secrecy envelope inside the affidavit envelope. And don't forget to sign the affidavit. In Iowa, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person. Head here to track your ballot. Iowans can also vote early this year. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? Early voting sites are open starting October 5th, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com IA. And of course, you can always vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com IA to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out, out there, there and, and vote. vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Michigan, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Brandon, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Brandon, take it away. Thank you, President Obama. OK, Michigan, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote early in person, vote by mail, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com mi to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. In Michigan, you can mail your ballot, drop it off in person, or at an official drop box location. Head here to track your ballot. Voting in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites are open now, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com mi. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com mi to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time polls close, you can still vote. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out, out there and vote. Get, get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Minnesota, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Brandon, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Brandon, take it away. Thank you, President Obama. Okay, Minnesota, 
This year, you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on election day, November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com mn to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. And remember to place your ballot in the secrecy envelope and sign the signature envelope. In Minnesota, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites are open now, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com mn. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com mn to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time polls close, you can still vote. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to IWillVote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now get, get out, out there and vote. Get, get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Nebraska, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our healthcare. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I wanna bring in my friend Meg, who's gonna tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg? Take it away. Thanks, President Obama. Okay, Nebraska, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote early by mail, vote early in person, or vote on election day on November 3rd. To vote early by mail, first go to iwillvote.com ne to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. And pro tip, don't forget to sign your envelope. In Nebraska, you can mail your ballot, drop it off in person at your county's elections office or at an official Dropbox location. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? Early voting sites are open starting as soon as October 5th, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com ne. And of course, you can always vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com ne to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, out, get there out there and, and vote. vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Nevada, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Esteban, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Esteban, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Nevada. This year, you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. Most registered voters in Nevada will be mailed a ballot, so be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. In Nevada, you can mail your ballot or drop it off of an official drop-off location in your county. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites are open starting October 17th through October 30th, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com nv. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com nv to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time the polls close, you can still vote. 
Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to IWillVote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, New Hampshire, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fairer economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Meg, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, New Hampshire, this year you have three easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote in person absentee, vote from home absentee, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. Voters can request, fill out, and return their absentee ballot in a single trip at their clerk's office before Election Day. Ballots are available now. All voters can vote from home by requesting an absentee ballot. First, go to IWillVote.com NH to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Pro tip, once your ballot is complete, put it inside the smaller ballot envelope and sign the envelope. Then, put the whole thing inside the outer envelope and don't forget postage if you're mailing it back. In New Hampshire, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person. Head here to track your ballot. You can also vote in person on Election Day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to IWillVote.com NH to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, Thank you for going to IWillVote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, out, get there out there and, and vote. vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, North Carolina, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control to building a fairer economy to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Brandon, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Brandon, take it away. Thank you, President Obama. OK, North Carolina, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote early in person, vote by mail, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites will be open starting October 15th, and you can find yours at IWillVote.com NC. To vote by mail, first go to IWillVote.com NC to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Don't forget to grab a friend or a family member as your witness, and that you both complete the witness section on the return envelope. In North Carolina, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person. Head here to track your ballot. And of course, you can vote early on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to IWillVote.com NC to find your polling place, and don't forget, if you're in line by the time polls close, you can still vote. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to IWillVote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out, out there and vote. Get, get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Ohio, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fairer economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote 
is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I wanna bring in my friend Meg, who's gonna tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. Okay, Ohio, this year you have three easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on election day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com slash oh to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Pro tip, place your completed ballot within the identification envelope and sign it, and then put it in the return envelope provided to you. And if you're mailing it back, don't forget to use two stamps. In Ohio, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person at your county's Board of Elections office or at the county's official drop box. Head here to track your ballot. Ohioans can also vote early this year. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? Early voting is open starting October 6th, and you can find your site at iwillvote.com slash oh. And of course, you can always vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com slash oh to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now, now get, get out, out there, there and, vote. and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Pennsylvania, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fairer economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Brandon, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Brandon, take it away. Thank you, President Obama. OK, Pennsylvania. This year, you have three easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on Election Day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com PA to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Pro tip, make sure you seal your ballot in the smaller secrecy envelope and place it in the larger envelope. Then complete and sign the voter declaration on the back of the larger envelope. In Pennsylvania, you can mail your ballot, drop it off in person, or at an official drop box location. Head here to track your ballot. Pennsylvanians can also vote early this year. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? You can find out where to early vote in person at iwillvote.com PA. And of course, you can always vote on election day. Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com slash PA to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. And now, now get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Texas, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I want to bring in my friend Brandon, who's going to tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Brandon, take it away. Thanks, President Obama. OK, Texas, this year you have three easy ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote early in person, vote by mail, or vote on election day on November 3rd. Texans can vote early this year. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Nice, right? 
Early voting sites will be open starting October 13th, and you can find yours at iwillvote.com TX. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com TX to request your ballot application today. You'll just need a printer, envelope, and stamp. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. And pro tip, remember to place your ballot in the ballot envelope and sign the carrier envelope. In Texas, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person. And of course, you can always vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com TX to find your polling place. My suggestion, get there early so you don't have to rush at the end of the day. Back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. And now, now get out there and vote. Now get out there and vote. Yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Virginia, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I wanna bring in my friend Meg, who's gonna tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg, take it away. Thank you, President Obama. Okay, Virginia, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on election day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first go to iwillvote.com slash VA to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. In Virginia, you can mail your ballot or drop it off in person. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule, and early voting sites are open now. You can find yours at iwillvote.com slash VA. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com slash VA to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time the polls close, you can still vote. Now back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now get out now there get out and there vote. get out there and vote. Yeah, we gotta work on that. Hey, Wisconsin, Barack Obama here. So much is at stake in this election, from getting the pandemic under control, to building a fair economy, to taking on climate change, to protecting our health care. You can change our direction on every issue. That's the power of your vote. History shows that the easiest way to make sure that you and your friends vote is to make a plan. And when it comes to voting this year, having a plan has never been more important. So I wanna bring in my friend Meg, who's gonna tell us how to make sure our ballots count this year. Meg, take it away. Thank you, President Obama. Okay, Wisconsin, this year you have three easy and convenient ways to cast your ballot and make your voice heard. You can vote by mail, vote early in person, or vote on election day on November 3rd. To vote by mail, first, go to iwillvote.com slash WI to request your ballot today. Once you request your ballot, be sure to keep an eye on your mailbox. When your ballot arrives, follow the instructions carefully. Don't forget to have a family member or friend serve as your witness. Both of you will need to fill out and sign the signature envelope. In Wisconsin, you can mail your ballot, drop it off in person, or at an official Dropbox location. Head here to track your ballot. Voting early in person lets you vote on your schedule. Early voting sites will be open starting October 20th, and you can find your site at iwillvote.com WI. And of course, you can vote on election day, Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to iwillvote.com WI to find your polling place. And don't forget, if you're in line by the time the polls close, you can still vote. Now back to you, President Obama. Whether you vote by mail, vote early and in person, or vote in person on November 3rd, thank you for going to iwillvote.com and doing your part to protect this democracy and change this country for the better. Now get out now there, get out and, there vote. and vote.
Yeah, we got to work on that.